my next project is for a client. I take clients now. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> if you would like to be a client of mine, I have a Gmail now. Scroungerupper at gmail.com. Shoot me a DM on Instagram. Scroungerupper on Instagram any number of ways to reach me. So I have my very first client and she has four bar stools that she would like to be modified for outdoor use. Um, so I bought some outdoor fabric for that. So first things first, cleaning. Um, so first things first, I'm going to clean them, but I wanna show you what they're, what they're working with right now. You see, there's a good amount of dirt and first up, we're just going to hose them down. My original hope was that I could remove the top from the bottom. That would be a much easier way to make the pattern and also reconnect the pieces seamlessly. Because my biggest thing is like, sure, I can make a piece and lay it on here, staple it under, and I can make a piece and staple it, whatever, under. Um, but what goes on here? <laughs> what goes on right here? That's the thing that I'm most like unsure of. So I'm going to move on to pattern making, which is something I've not done. Uh, so I'm going to use tissue paper and trace these pieces. Okay, so I'm going to do this with tissue paper, like for gifts. So I had this in the garage. So I'm going to trace um, like the outside of the seam so that we get that and then I'll add a seam allowance. That's pretty good. I'm definitely gonna make a mock-up before I ever uh, touch the fabric that we bought. Once I had my pattern pieces made, I went ahead and made two mock-ups, which took about a month. One out of this pink sheet that Debbie really liked, and one out of this black and white thicker fabric that was pretty similar to the outdoor fabric that I would eventually be using, just to make sure my pattern pieces worked and definitely for lots of practice. Okay. Time to start cutting. So now I'm going to show you how I pinned the pieces together, draping them onto the actual chip. So first thing I put my seat piece onto the seat facing down and then I pinned it into place. So just one, two, three, four pins just so that it stays where I want it to be, which is just so that the, the uh, seam allowance is even on both sides. And again, the right side is going to face the chair. I was pinning it from the seat piece down into this side, but it, it was easier once I put the side underneath the seat piece, if that makes sense. sewn these three pieces together and it's looking really good you can see the edge fits nicely and I've got enough to tuck it underneath and then I'm going to eventually uh, staple it there and it's fitting nicely so I'm ready to move on to the back piece here okay so next I'm just sewing these two pieces of the chair back together so just straight across and then I'm also going to top stitch it over so that this uh, flappy seam will sit nicely and it just adds an extra level of finish. So I just finished pinning this side, both sides, and 
this is the difficult one to sew because this curve at the top and really getting this nice and snug. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sew it. At this point, I just had a top piece and a bottom piece that I needed to bring together. I sewed up the side seams, and then it came to a point where I had to figure out how this section was going to happen, because I didn't really have a clear idea. I did have a clear idea, but it just wasn't going to work out. I ended up just sewing them so that they overlap by like an inch, maybe even less. And I thought that would be enough, but upon testing it out, I had the whole piece on here and I would sit on it and get back up. The things just came untucked and it looked like terrible. What I ended up deciding to do is a ladder stitch. Um, so I did a ladder stitch to bring these two pieces together and now there's an invisible seam here um, that just holds everything into place nicely. So I did that ladder stitch there. Then I used a spray adhesive. Um, so I got, there's this website my sister told me about that tells you what kind of glue to use for what project, which is amazing. I think it's called thistothat.com. And you can say, I have a vinyl chair and I have outdoor fabric and it will tell you what kind of glue to use to best adhere. So I used a 3M77 spray adhesive, but once I was actually gluing, it was definitely more difficult than I expected to um, shimmy this on because it is such a nice tight fit, which is great, um, but it was definitely harder to shimmy it around and get it to the right position um, fairly quickly. So I did that, so it's all spray adhered, which is really nice. It sits really well. The spray adhesive is great, but then once you tuck it and staple it, um, it's really in there for good. So then I began stapling. So I was able to flip the chair upside down and use a staple gun, which I've done in many other videos for any sort of upholstery project. Um, so staple, staple, staple. But then I was left with um, the issue of these front couple, these front corners here. I got my chairs about 85% of the way there. I just finished the stapling portion um, and now I just need to tuck in these loose ends and then I'm going to secure them with some hot glue and that's what I'm going to show you how I do right now. So first thing I'm definitely going to shorten these pieces. I'm going to cut it about in half so that there's less pushing that needs to happen. So I'm just using this knife and then I'm going to push the ends in. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. So I got my hot glue gun and I'm just going to put a little right here and a little right here to kind of seal things into place. get on with the final step of this project to cover up these staples. It's just like a nice finishing touch. It's also going to keep this fabric from fraying underneath because this outdoor fabric is very, very easily frayed and we don't want that. And if you're pulling your seat under you, um, this, this the staples are not pleasant to feel. So I ended up going with a grow grain ribbon. This one is three inches wide, you definitely could do thinner. I just decided to do three inches so that it could go on top of the staples and then also tuck underneath. So I'm just using some hot glue. I'm just gonna put it all in the middle of the staples. And then I'm taking my pre-folded under piece of ribbon. And I'm just pressing it carefully because it is indeed hot glue. And then just to uh, seal it in a little bit more, I'm going to put just, just in the corners a couple of staples. Okay, so now it's time to tuck everything under and make it all very clean and nice. So first thing I'm going to make up for the fact that we have these like corner bits here. 
So I'm going to cut up to them. So just like that. And then I'm going to take these bits that are gonna sit on this corner piece and fold it under like that. Staple right there. Staple here as well. And then this can just kind of, I folded it under on the other one. So that's it. And then we're all done. So I'm just gonna repeat that on all four sides. All right, so I just finished all these little tuck unders underneath. So we're all done with that. So here we are at the very end. I am so glad that I pushed through these past like three weeks and really got this done. Like I can't believe it, but I did and I finished it and I have four chairs. I am not exaggerating when I say I have sewn and unsewn all these pieces at least three times. It was a very fun project. I really learned so, so, so much. This project actually took a lot longer than I expected it to. I was work I was starting it in, I wanna say September, October, and then I got a different job. And originally when we discussed this product, she was like, as long as it's done by Memorial Day, ha ha ha. And I don't think she thought it was gonna take anywhere near that long. So once I got the job, I really only worked on it on the weekends. Only on the weekends, some weekdays, very few weekdays. Happy to bring these over to my client tomorrow, put them by her pool at the bar, and uh, hopefully they will have a very happy life there. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe to my channel at ScroungerUpper on Instagram and give it a like if you want more videos kind of like this one. So what do you think? <laughs> I'm so freaking happy about this. Yay! <laughs> There's a party on a chair. Oh. <laughs> and I said to Lucy, find me something that is in shades of blue and is bright and fun. I could never imagine that they would be as phenomenal as the Yay. staff. Well, I'm really happy with how they turned out. You should be. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. I'm so happy.